Nick, I saw that um, when you were walking, when it, the score got up to about 6-2, I, I could see your face, you know, when you were walking towards where I was. You, you seemed like you got really discouraged and got yourself worked up, like you said. So not e not even just mentally or on the mat, but attitude-wise, how did you change your attitude in order to turn the match around? Um, I knew I had to kind of stay calm in that situation because once I started uh, getting upset, I started getting sporadic and and I don't set up shots well, and I start kind of wasting energy, and it kind of, it's all, it's, it's all actually negative if I get in that kind of mindset. So I, I knew I had to kind of relax, take a deep breath, understand that you know, I'm losing, but, you know, I could definitely come back. I knew the kid was, the kid was tired. I could tell when I was riding him, and I knew I was, I was going to beat him. So. Look like you were, able to, you were able to weather the storm against Tassari in Ohio State. Tonight you weren't able to weather the storm against Romanchik. He kept taking those shots, those left-handed single legs, locking his legs, hanging out for about five or ten seconds, and then just sucking your leg in. What was different? Was his leverage weird? What was going on? Why couldn't you fend those shots off early in the first period? Um, <laughs> I guess I, um, I guess first of all, I shouldn't have landed on my leg in the first place. When he got it in, I got I got to work in those positions. Uh, I usually turn the corner, and um, the work from there. My coach has been having me work on face centering up with the person and getting my hips back. Uh, the kid, the only reason he got the takedown was because he was locking his hands. When he got the hands locked, he would, he would lap, he would, um, you know, I just kept my hips back and I'm like, okay, stalemate. And the next thing you know, he's picking it up. I'm like, oh, he got the takedown. Was he kind of lulling you, lulling you to sleep with that? Like locking his hands, pausing for five seconds, Where then sucking it in? Backs, yep. So it's kind of, it almost felt like his, and his body frames, he's got a, a lanky body frame, so it's kind of a bad matchup for you, I thought, uh, frame-wise at least. Yeah, I don't do well against long guys. Uh, Coach, what are you thinking when Nick's out there and it looks like the wind's completely out of his sails? I mean, he's doing the, uh, the stroll back to the center, almost like the cool kid, I'm out of juice, stroll back to the center in the first period. What, what, what's well, going through your mind? He already misses, but I actually felt pretty comfortable all the way through. It was a weird feeling, but I knew, I, I, I felt that he was going to win the match at, at all points. I wasn't nervous after the first period. After the second period, I want to say he got away and got a takedown. I was still pretty comfortable at that point. You know, like I said, I think we had a strategy. It seems like they all wrestle the same way, and the only time our guys got into trouble is when we were attacking, it seemed like. Um, you know, for a guy, I can tell you, we got in trouble when we attacked, but I thought we were the better team as far as riding. I thought we were the better team as far as getting away. Um, it, it's just one. Of, it was a situation where, you know, the kid had one shot, and, and until Nick really figured out what he did in the third period, you know, if he would wrestle like that the whole match, it wouldn't have been a close match in my opinion. Because like I said, they wrestled before. I think you beat him pretty good. So it was just sometimes it's harder for our guys to, you know, it's, it's just a different style of wrestling. I think and I don't know how to. I think our guys are all attacking so much, and it just it becomes hard after a while when, when you're when you're the aggressor and guys are they're backing up, working to the, the edge of the mat, or just trying to go off your. You know, Mac McGuire, I don't think the kid took a shot on Mac McGuire. We score. He got a back set of back points. He got a takedown all off Mac Mac shots. And like I said, our young guys are aggressive, which you want them to be. But at the same sense, it comes a point where you have to tell them, hey, listen, make them come at you, make them attack you. And that's things we're working on. We have a really young team. You take away our, our older guys, and we're dealing with five freshmen for the most part, and. Uh, um, you know, they're learning how to win, which is real important, and they're getting to watch one of the best guys in the country wrestle. And like I said, we, re we redshirted two of our best guys on our team right now, and I think we're, we have a bright future. And if there's any time for a down year, this was it. I think next year, we said it from the get-go going into this year, next year I think we'll have a better team than we do right now. But we're, we're getting these young guys to, to, to learn how to win, which is really important. Nick, what do you got to do between now and uh, March to, to, to see yourself in Des Moines, Iowa at the NCAA tournament? I just got to keep working hard. Uh, I need to keep my weight under control. Uh, this was actually the first match where my weight wasn't under control, and uh, I had some trouble making it. Uh, I just got to keep my eyes focused on you know each one match at a time and one practice at a time, and just keep getting you know I got to get a couple more good wins and go into the MAC tournament. Obviously, I have to do well in that in order to get to the national tournament. So eating healthy, you know, good sleep focusing on wrestling and that's all. Okay, Coach, what do you got to do between now, you know, your formula for him, he just gave the formula for him, but what's your formula for maximum amount five plus qualifiers for the Kent State Golden Flash? What do you guys got to do? Is there anything you got to change? For our team, I think we need to get better. We our young guys need to get better. Someone like Sam Wheeler needs to learn how to win a scramble. You know, he's wrestled that kid three times now and I don't think he's won a scramble yet on him and, you know, that's a key. 
if you look at all the other scrambles, we won because our guys are really aggressive and we wear them down. But, you know, something like that. I think at heavyweight, Keith Wood is, is, just isn't – He's not a heavyweight. He wrestled 74 for three years ago. Now he's up to heavyweight. He's, he's struggling at that position, but he fights real hard, and he's in our starting lineup, which I think is important for him being a fifth-year senior. Um, Luke Kern is a freshman. Like I said, we got a guy named Tyler Small. I think started off the season ranked sixth in the country. We decided to redshirt him. It gives Luke a great opportunity to be on a, a very good team and to learn and to, to gain, gain some great experience for two, three years down the road for him. Um, you know, as, as far as uh, besides Sam, Sam needs to just wrestle through positions. Wrestle, wrestle through positions. He yeah, thinks that you know he's strong, big, strong guy. When he gets single legs, the guys are just going to fall for him. It doesn't work like that at this level, and uh, he needs to pick up his intensity. The rest of our guys, we just need to keep on getting better. I think, I think ultimately it's starting to show. Um, you know, we, someone like Nick and and the funny thing about someone like Caleb Marsh is he's beaten a lot of good kids, but he hasn't ranked yet. I don't know why. I don't. You know, it's the second time he's beaten that kid. And that kid's ranked. Um, Sassy's beaten three ranked kids now, and he still isn't showing up in any rankings. Maybe it's because we just put on a red shirt. So we have we have guys that can wrestle. Um, so we just got to keep on doing what we're doing. Hopefully, beat some more ranked guys before the end of the year, and go to the Mac, the Mac German, do the best we can. Hopefully, that you know between the, all the all eight teams now, we'll bring some qualifiers. Nick, do you feel this rivalry anymore? Coach Andersi doesn't seem to think it's a rivalry because he's dominated in his coaching tenure here. But do you feel the rivalry of Ohio University? You said that, not me. I, I just, I just, I'm just reading from my phone when I read that. But do, do you feel that? Uh, do you feel the rivalry with Ohio University? No. You're from Pennsylvania. I guess that's yeah, why I'm asking. I don't asking. Even know what's going on. I just see a wrestling OU. I'm like, all right, it's just a wrestling team. I, I, I don't feel the rivalry. That he, I mean, he made the, he made it seem like it was a rivalry, rivalry. But I, I've only been here for two years, and you know, last year was a away match. I didn't get to go watch, so I didn't get to experience that, um, and so I don't really. Not really familiar with the, the team, so. Coach Anderson, do, do you feel the rivalry between you and Ohio University? Good match, like you said, I don't. Um, I, I know you're trying to suck me into saying saying things, Zeb. So I'll just, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. We've, we've wrestled. I've been head coach for ten years now. Um, we've wrestled them eleven times because wrestled the Virginia duels, and I think we're ten and one against them. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. This was supposed to be a down year when we started redshirting guys, and we're still. One of the teams that, you know, like I said, we go to Central Michigan in two weeks, and I think we can go there and we can figure out a way to upset them because we got some guys that can score some points. Um, so it's one of those things where our hope is now to, to win a, a regular season dual meet, and we've won two of, the Mac term, Mac, two of the Mac matches that we've had, and we have Central next. That's all I really know. I don't really worry about rivalries. And right now I think that the way us and Central have gone, that's been a pretty good rivalry over the last few years. And, like I said, we're going to go up there again. It might be for the MAC championship again, so we'll see. Last thing I'm going to ask you. You've lost some recruiting battles to Ohio University. Does that feel kind of like how you feel towards them? I think that's probably where the biggest rivalry comes. We lose all kinds of recruits to them. It seems like any time we're recruiting the same guy, we lose we lose to them. And, you know, that's fine. I can, I'll lose every recruiting battle in the world. That doesn't, that's, not, not, that's not where you're, they're keeping track of things. I don't know. Like I said, if you took all the guys we've lost compared to them, there's dozens. Um, maybe hundreds, but the bottom line is I'm, I'm ten and one against them in dual meets, and uh, those are the matches I'm concerned about. Yeah, I'd like to get some of those recruits. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to keep going after them. We're going to fight a lot, whatever it may be. Like I said, I do things a certain way, and I want kids that want to do it my way. And I think if they buy into what we're selling them, we'll do fine with who we get. All right, coach. Thank you. Yep.